guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am super excited to be joining the Crafty Maven Getaway Ladies for a YouTube hop today. And so basically, we all kind of um, were given one of the other ladies in the Crafty Maven Getaway, and we are scrapbooking that person. And so you saw there in the beginning the layout that I was inspired by, which is from Cynthia Beck. And I really wanted to play with hexagons, because if you know me, you know I love hexagons. And her layout was full of all kinds of hexagons that went from the top to the bottom of her page. And so even though hers is done in a traveler's notebook, I decided to make mine a full 12 by 12 spread because I had this amazing cup file that I bought that I've been wanting to play with. And so this is like a Zen doodle or a Zen tangle type of uh, cup file. And if you are someone who needs cut files pre-cut for you, I do have this one listed in my personal store. And I will put a link down below if you want to check out that particular cut file. And I am pairing it up today with the Echo Park Imagine That collection. So I am really trying to stretch this collection out because it is almost gone from my stash and I love it. So I have grabbed the plaid paper and I've made that my background. And then I've cut just a, about a half an inch off the black cardstock so that that plaid shows all the way around the edge. And then I fit my cut file exactly into the space that was kind of that black part in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the pattern paper from the Imagine That collection and back some of the little hexagons in this cut file. I'm not going to do all of them, but there were like, I think I ended up doing like four sections with four different pattern papers. And that big hexagon I'm working on right there has getting like a plain color behind it because I know that that's where I want my title and my journaling to go because I thought from the very beginning the journaling would look really cute kind of following those arched lines in that particular hexagon. So I do have a four by six photo and this is just a photo of my nephew and he's all in black on his first day of school and I love it when he wants to wear all black because the scrapbooker in me is like yay I can pair this up with any collection and it will be perfect. Um, and so this, since this is one of my favorite boy collections, it just worked out really well. Um, I have a couple of stickers on the Imagine That sticker sheet that I wanted to use, but I wanted to make them dimensional, so I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut them on some white cardstock. One of them is like this little cloud cluster with books, and I thought that was perfect because this is the first day of school. And then this little banner that says, Just Imagine, and that's going to go along the bottom of my photo. And then there's this little awesome meter and I thought that was really cute to go up at the top and kind of overlap my photo as well as that one white hexagon. And I had punched earlier when I was using this collection on another project that little hexagon that I have down there on the bottom and it just happened to fit perfectly inside that shape. In Cynthia's layout that I am scrap lifting or sort of scrap lifting even though mine turned out quite different than hers, um, she had several pieces where she had taken a hexagon and put a smaller hexagon inside with a pattern paper and I really like that look so that worked perfectly in that bottom corner for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of work on my embellishment clusters. So I added that foam adhesive to the back of those books and then there's a little piece of chipboard that I'm going to stick in that space as well. And then I want my banner also to have some dimension and that's going to go along the bottom edge of that photo. And then I'm starting to think about how I want to incorporate a title, what I might want that to look like, where that's going to go. And I realized I wanted just a few more little stars on this page. So I went ahead and grabbed some washi tape and I'm just going to put one strip underneath my photo and one strip underneath this embellishment cluster that I have started in the bottom. And that kind of just tied everything together. So then I went ahead and grabbed some epoxy like phrase stickers and I'm kind of mixing and matching. So the word um, big is on there and I originally thought that I was going to have this say um, a big day but I didn't like how it was the same font from the word big and from the word day. I wanted to have one of them be scripty and one of them be more of a kind of fun handwriting text. And so instead we're going to go with Big Smile and the journaling is going to talk about how the first day of school is always such big smiles and the kids are excited to go back and they want to see all their friends and you know as the year goes on some of that excitement kind of fades away a little bit maybe. Uh, but it's definitely there on the first day of school. 
And I'm going to kind of finish this layout off by just adding a few enamel dots into my different embellishment clusters. I also added a few of the little black epoxy stars that matched those phrase stickers. Um, and then I have those enamel dots in the sections. I went ahead and went back and kind of added my journaling following the arc of that cut file that just kind of naturally worked out as a great place to journal. And that's going to do it for my layout. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired by Cynthia's layout and created one of my own. Do make sure you click down below and check out everyone else's videos and I'll see you soon. Bye!